Hi, I'm James with Paradise Palapas. Today we're going to show you how to install your palm X thatching on your palapa kit. So the spacing that you're going to attach these rails is four and a half inches. So what I'll do, and you want to take four and a half inches from the top of the one by three. I'll do four and a half inches on each side. I'll pop a line and I'll do it all the way up to the ridge in four and a half inch increments all the way around on all four sides and then I'll start attaching my railing. So again, what we did was you measure four and a half from the top of this one by three, just like that, and we go all the way up in four and a half inch increments, making a mark on the hip. All the way up, four and a half inch increments on each side, and then what I do is pop a line, as you can see here. So we got a line going up on every one, four and a half inches. And we do this all the way around on all four sides, and then we'll start attaching the railing. And this is where your railing is gonna go. Okay, so for each rail, you want to cut your railing first by setting it up on the mark where it's going to be, your first four and a half inch mark from the one by. Have your helper hold it up there on his side as well. And you want to cut a 45 degree angle, roughly 45 degrees. Now I'll hold this on the mark in about the center of the hip. And then we'll go to the other end and mark it. About center and we'll cut that one then we can slide our leaves onto these for each row oh, you're gonna... you okay so what you're going to want to do on your first row is we use a double thatch so you get two leaves and stack them and slightly stagger it so that these are in between each other, how they're staggered. You wanna do that on the whole first row all the way around, and then you can slide them on the rail. So when you're using the rail, you wanna have this flat side facing out, and the leaf's curving this way. You slide it in these grooves that it has on here. Like that. On your bottom row, you want these leaves to overhang past the rail about four fingers. You want to do this on each rail, only on the outside. So we'll get our next one slid on. So make sure you stagger these two leaves so that your fingers are staggered. You can also cut a little it right here with your scissors that'll help slide together better onto the railing and like I said it can only go on one way on this rail so we'll get these slid on just like that first row all the way around it's double lead Once they meet up with each other, you want these to slide over at least three fingers. One, two, three. Just like that. One, two, three. That'll make sure it's still watertight. Put one more on. Thing, double the leaves. To help, to help it slide on the rail better, I'll cut a, a groove right here on the end at an angle. That'll help them slide together easier. So 
slightly staggered. Slide them on. And the same thing here. Once you get to where you're meeting up with both of them, you want to pull it over the last two leaves. You want about three fingers over. Just like that. And then we'll get a couple of these built before we actually attach any of them. That's how I normally do it, all the way around for the first row. The first row is just the bottom. And when you put your leaves in on each row, you want to make sure you got at least four fingers overhanging on both sides. If you got a little extra, that's fine. We'll cut that later. But we'll count one, two, three, four, and you can make your cut. But you can go ahead and install it just like this and then cut it after. So each row, when you put it up there, you want to put it on your line. <clears throat> and what out? These rails are going to get folded over like that, and then you'll secure them. So what I'll do is I'll like pre-fold it all the way down. It'll make it easier whenever you're getting ready to screw it. So again, you fold it downward like that, and then you'll put it up there. You find your center where you where you want it and you'll secure it with, with the railing folded. And we'll do that all the way down. Put your screw about right in the middle of the rail. Pull it up to the line and put your screw in. So the reason that we leave these four fingers overhanging is that way you can have your fingers covering the whole hip, but then you want to cut up here. You want to cut a groove out of the top. That way your next rail can still fit, but your fingers are still hanging down, covering the whole hip. And you're gonna wanna do this all the way around on each row. So four fingers overhanging on each end. Once it's in there, you can make a small cut about the same angle as the hip going down. Now we're gonna install the double thatch all the way around. Only on the first row, it's double thatch. So we'll go ahead and get that installed and then we'll come back for the next row. four fingers overhanging and then when we get this other side installed we'll come back and we'll cut that all right we got the first row in now it's time to put the hip pieces in so with some scrap you got laying around or you can use it out of full leaves you need to cut a minimum of six finger piece just like this this one's about seven and uh, Find the center and you want to cut a groove in here, triangular shape, like that. <clears throat> that way you can fold it over. Fold it over like that and we'll put a screw in there and then we'll, we'll come over here and we'll show you exactly where we're putting it. So you want to fold it over and you want it to slightly have a bump. And uh, I'll do as I'll start, I'll put a screw in just on one side to help hold it, and then I'll fold it over and put the screw through the other side, just like that. And then come to your hip, right about where your four and a half inch mark is, and that's where you're screwing in, in between these two rails on the hip. 
You don't have to go all the way in with it, you just want it to hold. On this first row, we'll do that all the way around, but we'll do two of them, but only on the first row. We have another one here, same thing. When you lay it in there, you can kind of stagger one one way, one going the other way to make it look right. Just like that. If it sticks up a little bit, don't worry about it, because once you get more rows in, it'll lay down. And we'll do this all the way around. Two hip caps for each hip on the first row. Once we get up to the second row, it'll only be one. Once you get to your second row, you're only going to be putting one leaf on the rail. <clears throat> so whenever you'll slide one in at a time, and then when you slide your next one in, you want this to overlap, you know, two or three fingers. Slide your next one in, same thing, overlapping two or three fingers. You also want to make sure you do still have at least four fingers overhanging the end of each rail. Just like that. And we cut, if you got more than that, that's fine. We can cut it after we install it. So after the first row, it's one leaf all the way down for each row up. The first row is double the leaves. 